Navigating through the energies of New Earth is not an easy process and can become extremely overwhelming at times. As we all ascend into higher frequencies, we're all being guided to embrace our own unique divine pathway, a pathway created in the vibration of love. Join Vibe Nation radio host, international psychic medium, Carrie Turcott, as she guides her listeners to rediscover themselves by accessing the keys of knowledge that already exist within. Each week's show is divinely orchestrated to intertwine with the universal energies, allowing the listeners to go deeper within and understand the message being shared even greater. When you live in the frequency of love, there is no competition, so Carrie will be joined regularly by fellow soul family members who will bring forth wisdom and knowledge she knows should be shared on a global level. At the end of each show, Carrie will tap into the energies of the listeners to see what message Spirit wants to share with all those listening in for the upcoming week. If you really want to get to know who you truly are, come and join us now on Vibe Nation Radio, here on the IOM Radio Network. Hello, 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 my friends, and welcome to Vibe Nation Radio. Happy New Year. Happy first day of spring. Happy equinox. Happy, 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 happy. Joy, joy, joy is where we're going, my friends. And I'm so excited today with my special guest, Jimmy Mack, who's a renowned medical intuitive and spiritual life coach who has taken and completed and even mastered a variety of healing modalities. After a near-death experience, he was shown and developed a simpler way to create healing and profound change, now known as my liquid fish, change made simple. And on today's show, we're going to go deeper into the meaning of vibrations and frequencies and how at a soul level they create your current reality because life is about change. And when you shift your, your vibrations, so does your soul's journey. So, Jimmy Mack, are you there, my dear friend? You bet. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on today. It's awesome. Oh, Thank you. And, and, you know, for those that are listening and you know how Vibe Nation Radio is, we just kind of go with the flow. And last week I said I wasn't really sure who was coming on the show this week. And you know what? Spirit aligned Jimmy Mac and I together, <laughs> which I was it. a beautiful way of how we came together, how spirit brought the two of us together. But, you know, after talking, we're, we're on the same journey. We're into the vibrations. We're into the frequencies. And mm -hmm. it, it's so much of where we are now. This is what, you know, our soul is asking you to get in tune with your vibration so that you can shift into the new because none of us have ever been here before. Right. It's uh, no doubt. You know. <laughs> so, Jimmy, let's just talk a little bit about My Liquid Fish and Change Main Simple because I, ex I did experience this next last week. So I will, once you explain it, I'll talk about what I've experienced. And then we're going to go a little bit deeper in this conversation because those that are listening in, Jimmy will be back on April 17th. And we're actually going to be doing live healings then, which is going to be awesome. But today we just want to talk about Jimmy and the vibrations and his services and how to really get in tune with this. So, yeah. Jimmy, please talk about how spirit brought you to yeah. this beautiful. <clears throat> well, thank you. Yeah. I started out Episcopal. I mean, uh, kind of funny, the late comedian, uh, Robin Williams called it Catholic light, you know? And, uh, so I was an acolyte and did all that. I was very into pageantry and everything else. And fast forward, I went to college and prior to that I was into astrology and numerology and all these different things. And I loved all the, spiritualist psychic development courses and different things in the spiritualist churches. And so I did a number of different modalities of healing, everything from Reiki, of course, uh, remote viewing, shamanism, theta healing, reconnective healing, matrix energetics, UN method, access consciousness, ascension with the monks. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And about 09, it was around the holidays, I had a real healing crisis. My gallbladder about gave out and they had to do surgery on me. And that wasn't the problem. They got my gallbladder out, but they gave me too much anesthesia, so that about killed me. And uh, I had full-blown clinical pneumonia. So I wound up in ICU and basically was brought back by the nurses every night, three nights in a row. So I had very profound experiences, and uh, I was really like more heavenish, deep inner space. I would describe it as like the Hubble Space Telescope pictures, and that's the kind of stuff I was going up into. And then fast mm. forward, what they showed me was the basics of my liquid fish. It's similar to the little Christian fish symbol, but not with such a tight 
nose at the front, it's more like a roller coaster. Or if you gave a child a crayon and they drew a fish with their fist and held that crayon, it's one continual motion. It's continuous. Yeah. And so the bottom pieces are earth negative weakness on the bottom left. And the top left at the tail would be heaven positive strength. So it looks kind of like a Tai Chi motion or a little yoga move, and that's really what you're doing. I love applied kinesiology, muscle testing, using a pendulum, that sort of thing. You want to come to a place where you know and I know everything is frequency and, and energy. So you need to somehow have at least the ability to measure it. So once you measure it, in other words, you get a yes or a no or a heavy or light or, you know, some form of measurement, positive, negative and the power truly isn't changing it. And that's what this does. And so it's really a technique, a technology, a methodology, if you will. You know, and you and I laughed early on, and we, we, we spoke, and I demonstrated for you what it's like, but it's like, hey, I'd have liked to sat in my house the rest of my life and just seen clients for healing, and you know, I do medical intuitive work, obviously spirit life coaching, and I would have rather just, you know, sat around the rest of my life and done absolutely that, and that's it. And, mm -hmm. you know, but instead I come out of the hospital and they're like, hey, there's this new thing. And, you know, show the world this, right? No pressure. It's like, ugh. So you borderline, <laughs> you know, almost shake your fist at God, right? No pressure. So because there's not enough stuff out there already, right? It's overwhelming. 3D and 5D and oh, my gosh, right? So, but the point is, it's so fast. It's so strong. It's so awesome. That's all I do now. If there was something better, I'd be doing that. I follow these people yeah. around for years, you know, took all their courses and sat at their feet and just chewed it all up and, you know, just engulfed it all. And, yes. you know, that's really where I ended up. So this has just been the fastest, deepest, cheapest, most profound way to create change I've ever seen. And it, I give it all yeah. the spirit, you know, I really do. But, mm -hmm. you know, it's a neat catalyst if you're really in tune with this and this resonates with you. I've never seen anything go faster than this. So that's it. Yeah. Well, and I, I have to agree that, you know, when we when we spoke and you just jumped right into it and you told me to stand up, you know, it is you're like a human pendulum. But to me, it was almost like a weeble wobble experience because there yeah. were times where I was when spirit was pulling me forward. I felt like I had jumped off a ski when, you know, when they have the skiers and they go off those big giant ramps and they're they're flying through the air and their feet are actually their face is actually level with their skis i was almost doing that at some point and i'm like whoa how am i not falling here and it right. was, i felt the energy shifting remember i said i feel a bubble it's like and i felt when i was going to go into the neutral when spirit had finished doing the work that they needed to do on me i felt it my fingers started to tingle it was like okay i know i'm in i'm going into neutral now because i felt that feeling and that's right, really that's cool about you know, and at the very end, I felt like I, they had opened up a bottle of champagne. And it was, and it, it, the the bubbles were going through my whole body. It's like they were celebrating, yeah. you know, that the fact that I've been able to align myself. And someone who's in tune with energy, you know, a lot of times you do have energy work done. You don't really feel it. Well, believe me, if you have energy work done with Jimmy Mac, you, you will feel it. Especially those that right. are very tuned in the frequencies and vibrations, because you can feel yeah. the energy shift taking. Right. Yeah, so, it's even more powerful. Obviously, you're really, really intuitive, and so it's even more powerful for you. But I've had people that are doctor, lawyer, Indian chief, engineers, and just had never had a lick of work done, you know, nothing, zero, and not into it at all. And I'm still pulling them all around the room or over the phone or Skype or what have you. You know, it works long distance, yeah. too, obviously. You know, and, I, and every day I have people email me and they go, Jimmy, how do I know something's going to happen? And I go, don't worry, you're going to know. You know, you just can't deny yeah. it. So that's dreamy. Yes. And, and to me, it's affirmation by spirit that, hey, something's happening. And you brought up a great point, and that is with so many things, whether it's, you know, Reiki and all these different things, reconnected, healing, whatever it may be, yeah, you feel pretty good. And, wow, I think something happened. Um, but it, it's not, to me, an affirmative, verifiable, yes, no, you know, is there something still there? Is it wavy? Is it great? Of course, it's all good, um, but I want to know. I'm more of those, you know, show yeah. me, tell me, and let me know. And with this, yeah. you know, you can tell the difference between yes or no. Absolutely. And it's, again, there there is no second guessing with what Jimmy's capable of doing. The, the connection that he has 
with the oneness with spirit and the Holy Spirit is who you work with that again, I was like a weevil wobble. I was like, oh my gosh, this is just so cool. And for those that are skeptical, this is, you know, a perfect way of seeing that, you know, you don't need to be so skeptical because I see this all the time with my readings. And to be quite mm-hmm. honest, I think when people are more skeptical, they're the ones that have the more life altering moment because they're like, oh my gosh, you know, because now they're able to get in tune with truth of their soul. And that's what this is beautiful right. about you, that you're allowing people to get in tune with their, align with their own soul and the soul of the oneness right. of who we all are. Yeah. And you know, and you're smart enough to know, smarter than the average bear. And what I'm just basically doing is being, you know, the orchestra leader, if you will, and spirits doing all the heavy lifting. I promise you that. But it's so profound that people are like, oh, my gosh, something is happening. So that's what makes it cool. Yes, and absolutely. And I, I mean, with myself, the fact that I was leaning so forward. And again, there's no possible way I could have been that forward in without spirit. It was like spirit was holding on to me or I would have fallen flat on my face. So right. again, I had to close my eyes when I went through the experience because it was kind of freaking me out. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to fall on my face. <laughs> so yeah. I just went with the two of spirit. But you know, when spirit was ready and they pulled me back a few times and dumped some more and then they brought me forward. So again, my friends, this is an experience that, you know, we're going to be doing live readings back on, he's going to come back on April 17th and we're going to get into this and do some live readings. But to lead us up to the readings, you know, spirit guided us to talk about the vibrational journey that everyone is on right now and how important it is to get in tune with your own personal vibration so that the soul can speak to you and guide you where you're supposed to be going on your soul's journey. Mm-hmm. Oh, and looking back, perfect timing. So when we get back, perfect we'll time. go a little bit deeper about where we're going on our vibrational journeys, my friends. So stay tuned, and we'll be back shortly with Jimmy Mack, and we'll be right back after this commercial break. Your conscious lifestyle on steroids. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. As difficult as it is to believe, there are places in Africa where human traffickers sell albino children and their body parts for use in magic rituals. Humanity Healing International is actively working in Uganda to change this paradigm. The Albino Rescue Project finds albino children who are at risk and places them in safe schools and environments where they can learn and grow free from fear. To learn more or to sponsor a child, visit humanityhealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. Have you been searching for a perspective beyond the mainstream? Check it out. Join your hosts, Yelito Pasquale and Diana Gold Holland, on Share International Radio for thought provoking views behind the news. Sundays at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern, on Ohm Times Radio. You can also find us at shareontheairradio.org. This may be the message of hope you've been waiting for. How to be a great dad in 15 seconds. Bike ride, go fish, walk in the park, phone call, milkshake, play catch, picnic, fly a kite, tell jokes, laugh, talk, read a story, tell a story, bumper car, swing set, bowling, pillow fight, cut loose, stay tight. Because the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. Welcome back to Vibration Radio, where today my special guest, Jimmy Mack, who is a renowned medical intuitive and spiritual life coach, and also has created My Liquid Fish, Change Main Simple. And I feel spirit really wants us to go a little bit deeper, Jimmy, with regards to vibrations and frequencies and how they really work. Mm. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's hard to describe that. And, of course, we're doing a radio show, so I'll condense it down. Um, but ultimately, to me, it's... It, Borders on the string theory and different things. I've seen light spectrum and the rainbow, and it looks like a vibratory, almost a wave, if you will. And yes. those are the things I see. A lot of intuitives will see the same thing. I might see on a person who's 
just deathly ill, really sick, standing in my living room, my home office. I can actually see, it reminds me of the U2 video, uh, it's called Vertigo. And they're all standing in the desert, the whole band, and the whole time they're playing the song, this huge trail of dark energy looks like sand is blowing off them in the back. And yes. that's a lot of times what I'll see as well. So it gets pretty wild and pretty dicey. You know, I often tell yeah. people, hey, you don't need to understand it all, and you don't need to know exactly every little nuance of what's going on. But just yeah. if you will stick with deleting out the negative and the icky stuff and downloading more positive stuff, uh, everything mm-hmm. can change and shift. Yes. And I, I see that often as well with those that are not in a good place or they are ill. They they look almost like gray to me, almost like they, um, they've been laying around in a, <clears throat> a pool of water for days as well. They just, they don't look, their, their their aura doesn't look correct. And somebody who's going into a darker place, I actually can see the darkness around them. And we're not here to scare mm-hmm. people. We're, we're, I'm here just to let people know that you might start to see this as you start to shift in frequencies because the higher frequencies you get... Again, we're going from 3D energies to 4D energies into 5D energies and above. And when you get into the higher frequencies, energy is something that a lot of people can actually see depending on your clairs. You know, some people feel it, some people see it. Um, and it's almost, to me, spirit is saying that there. this is, you know, we're here. Today's the brand new year. We're starting Aries. We've got the spring equinox. And what a beautiful time to be able to really get in alignment with your true frequencies of who you truly are at a soul level, which really is vibrating the sense of love. Right. Well said. That's perfectly worded. And I might add to that, you know, it's almost like getting back to where we really were anyway. Um, yes. Through the life patterns and overthinking and your parents telling you how wrong you are or whatever experience you've been through, betrayal and loss, abuse, you know, blah, 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 school, girlfriends, boyfriend, whatever. Yes. <laughs> it's really messed this up along the way. So it's almost like yes. a rediscovery of where you were. Uh, I'll tell you a quick yes. funny story. You can laugh over my youngest son uh, brought his daughter over, or my granddaughter, one of my granddaughters, and she's breathtaking and white blonde hair and blue eyes. And she always plays here and has to do all these certain little things. And she's a little Gemini, age two. And they got ready to leave, and they left. We said our goodbyes. Five minutes later, my son's calling me on the phone. I'm like, oh, my gosh, I hope everything's okay. He says, Dad, i got to tell you what Charlie just said. I said, what's that? She said, I love going to Grandpa's house because there's so many ghosties there. <laughs> right? Yeah. So yeah. there you go. So yeah. age two, guess what? Nobody's telling her you can't see them. She's seeing them. <laughs> She's seeing Yes. vibrational colors and the mix and the cool relatives that have passed on looking over her and nobody's saying, no, that's imaginary. You can't see that. And since yes. she has no awareness of what she can or can't do, she's aware of the awareness of what's showing up. Absolutely. And this is so powerful now that we are shifting into higher frequencies. And mm-hmm. I find as well, too, it's really important for people to understand that we live in a 3D reality. And we're always going to have those 3D emotions connected to us because that's what comes with mm-hmm. the, the, the human body when you actually put your soul in the vessel. And it's, you know, really aligning yourself with the higher vibrations and using them to be able to function in the 3D reality of the matrix. So, you know, a lot of times people are like going, oh, we're going into 5D and we're going to go live there. And when you really stop and think about that, that's simply not possible while you're in a 3D reality body. Mm-hmm. Well, and I'll give you one better. You know, people always uh, in my presence and me working on them, working with them, eventually they come to a place where I can't think of anything and nothing else comes to mind. I'm like, okay, that's bliss. That's what everybody is climbing the mountain for, sitting in front of the guru is, you know, mindlessness and being in that blissful place. And I've been into those places where it's so profound, where everything's blending into one. You couldn't possibly drive a car or have a conversation or anything else, and that's up into yep. 5D, 5, you know, D and beyond, you see what I mean? And so yes. you can't even function in those realms, honestly, and go about your day-to-day, quote-unquote, human life. So, eh, you know, it's nice to visit. You couldn't live there if you've already yes. done everything to ascend anyway. You're not going to be here anyway. 
Absolutely. And I, I'm, I'm grateful that you're saying this because this is something I've been saying in the Vibe Report for a very long time. Just as a medium that I know that spirit hangs out in 5D, that's the, the zero point frequency. That's where you go and you do, you know, that you can go time travel there, friends. You can go parallel past, you know, if you're that in tune with energy. But again, how could you be functional in your 3D reality life? By time traveling 24 7, seven days a week, you simply cannot. <laughs> and if you're, in, if you're completely in 5D energies 24 7, that means you're physically not on this planet anymore. Right? So right. It's, it. it's important for people to understand this that we have the abilities to channel this information, to bring us to that bliss, to wake us up, to help clear the frequencies of the vibrations of lower vibrations so that when the higher frequencies come in and you channel them, it allows you to have that clarity that you didn't have mm-hmm. prior to going into that higher state of mind. Well said. Yes, totally agree. Yeah. And, you know, folks need to know, too, you and I have never discussed this before, but it's like we're on these little parallel paths, and we've come to these same realizations over our time, our education, our experience, all the people we've worked with over years and years and years. And how cool is that, that we're in agreement or communion with this, and we kind of are standing there, I would say, on the, you know, summit of Mount Everest going, hey, there's the mountain and there's the land below and, you know, this is it. Here's all the choices. And everybody will always have opinion and positionality too. So that's hugely different for everybody. Yes. It's, um, and that's, I teach personality traits and that is big. You know, if you have a green personality, which again, everyone's every color, but if you're more green analytical need to know why, 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 and you're standing on the cliff with an orange who is, woohoo, this is an adventure. Let's just jump. Let's just do it. You know, the green's going <laughs> right. to question everything. And the orange is like, just let's just go. You know, let's figure it out when we get there. Right? So yeah, this I, is something I, that we have. Yeah, to- I think, I think your, your green would be saying, why is the orange not more cautious? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You know, and that's something right. that we, I encounter when we when we talk about when I work with clients about the frequencies and the vibrations, because that is part of the aura, which is the energy fields. And that falls into the emotions mm-hmm. and the mental. Right. So mm-hmm. it, it's the way you are, the way you are wired here in this physical body and this reality. And it does take time to shift, just like shifting vibrations that, you know, when you have with myself, when I had the healing with you. I was knocked on my mm-hmm. butt for a couple of days. I was like, wow. But I knew it, it almost right. to me, if, if anybody's ever had a Bowman treatment, um, that's the closest thing I can say to close to this, that, you know, when you have a Bowman treatment, you know, they do too much work on you and you're, you're flat on your ass for days and days and days. You got to keep drinking and drinking mm-hmm. and drinking. That's the closest thing I can say to this. Not that I was like dead to the world, but I was in a giant fog because things were aligning the work that we had done it was realigning, right. so I had to be able to shift, and that takes time. And people, you know, I wouldn't recommend you have a healing with him, and then you have to go out and, and do some event or work an event. You want to be able to have time to be able to, you know, absorb the energy work that's been done and allow the process to happen naturally. Yeah, right? well said. And, you know, it's kind of the joke of you don't want to, you know, drive a car, operate heavy machinery. So there you go. And I And I do find, yeah. too, by the way, that – a lot of people have a different reaction to it. Some people will continually see me, you know, every month, whatever works for them. Yeah. I make it easy to leave so that you don't want to. But, you know, they'll come in the mornings or do phone or Skype in the morning, and they're just jazzed up all day long. So it'll have the opposite effect for some people. It gets them all, you know, just completely jacked wild. up and wild, you know. Yeah. yeah, and so they can't possibly do night sessions or they wouldn't go to sleep. And then other people, and I'm like you, by the way, when I have work done and I work on myself, you know, for any length of time, I'm completely wiped out. You know, I'm not dead to the world, but I notice that, you know, it's really, it's time to rest. And that's the body's reaction to it. And like you said, it's so apropos is you're really realigning to that new frequency, that new energy, that place where you weren't at before, or you were you know, in a previous life or when you first came in, but it's getting you back there to that realization that's, that's really the shift. Absolutely. And that's perfect. And I, again, with those that are very in tune with spirit are a lot of them, again, we're getting in, in tap, sorry, in tune with our, you know, parallel lives, our past lives and stuff. And again, and, and I know that with, when I did the healing with Jimmy, 
we went into a past life. You got, we got pulled right into one. And it, it, this isn't a, a mm-hmm. for myself, I've been working on energetically, re, you know, healing the, the lower vibrations attached to that life, which probably goes back about 800 to 1,000 years, my friends. And I've been working on this for two years. And, you know, Jimmy comes in and, you know, how spirit aligns us. And then all of a sudden he gets pulled into this with me. And honestly, I, I felt the release finally because I did what I could do personally. But now I need mm-hmm. help with you being able to pull because this is your special, unique ability that you have. And that's what I love about working with frequencies and vibrations, that we're all a piece of this puzzle. And we all have these beautiful abilities And there is no competition because I've done what I did and I could do what only I could do. But now you come along and you help, you know, heal that which I was not able to heal at a soul level because it's it's my energy. And again, I have an ego that's kind of saying, no, that's not the case. Well, you know what? Jamie came through and said, you want to make a bet? (laughs) Yeah, let's say it to you right now. You know, my joke on all that is the two psychics meet in the middle of the road. The one says the other, you're fine. How am I? So, yeah. you know, you get it. And in many levels, we're here to help each other and contribute to each other. And I would also say I'm coming to it just completely cold out of the blue. And I'm more analytical telling you exactly what I'm seeing without coloring it mm-hmm. or without yeah. even any input from you. And so then it becomes a lot more real. And if you're swaying forward or back and spirits, you know, reaffirming what I know to be true, and you're like, oh, I don't feel like that way, and it's like, bam, it pulls you forward to yes. It's like it's still there, and you don't want to be attached to it, but I'm not attached to your outcome at all, so, you know, I have no no, no dog in the fight, as they would say, and I have no belief either way of, well, she cleared it out forever, or she didn't do anything at all, or whatever. I just want to see what shows up, and then obviously help and contribute and facilitate it so that you get some wiggle room. And I'd add to that, by the way, on the past life stuff. Wow. So let's, when we get back mm-hmm. to commercial break, Jimmy, we'll, we'll start on the past life information you just stopped into. So stay tuned, folks, and we'll be right back to back this commercial break. Free your mind with Ohm Times Radio, IOM FM. Have you ever wondered how to change your love paradigm? The secret key is finding a love partnership, not just a regular connection. How do you find these? Through conscious relationships. Ascending Hearts Dating is a dating site for people like you that believes in second chances and a different type of spiritual connection. Try Ascending Hearts for free today at AscendingHearts.com and change your love paradigm. Ascending Hearts, the premier dating community for the spiritually awake. Evolution is where sexuality and spirituality meets. Join me, clinical sexologist Martha Tara Lee, on Eros Evolution on Thursdays, 4 p.m. Eastern, on Om Times Radio. When Dad needed help getting around, I became his driver. Soon enough, it was up to me to be his housekeeper and financial manager, too. When he moved in, I became his cook and even his nurse. But no matter what roles I play, I know I'm still his daughter. We understand the roles you play. So to help, we created aarp.org slash caregiving, where you can connect with experts and other caregivers. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving. Brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. Welcome back to Vibration Radio, where today my special guest is Jimmy Mack. He's a renowned medical intuitive and spiritual life coach who also has developed My Liquid Fish and Change Made Simple. And before we went to the commercial break, Jimmy, you were just jumping into some past life information. So let's just pick up from there, my friend. Yeah, um, I'd add to it, you know, and I, I'm I'm fine with anything that works. People are big on maybe past life regression, that sort of thing, and discovering this, that, or the other thing, and they might want to go back into it. And there are people who have argued with me. They think that, you know, they have only one life to live, and this is it, and they've never been here before, and, boy, will they be in for a surprise when they cross over. But, um, you know, basically, oh, my goodness. So, anyway, it's just funny. You know, one of the greatest movies people could watch on that, it's called Cloud Atlas. It's with Tom Hanks and Holly Berry. And um, that's a really great movie, and I think he portrays probably five different lifetimes and 
outer space guy and all kinds of different things. So it's a great little, you know, when, when's the last time Tom Hanks made a bad movie, right? It's pretty good. Yeah. So that's a great one for folks to watch. But I'd add to it that I'm okay if you were, you know, a man in your past life and five lifetimes ago, but, you know, you did this or, you know, robbed banks or whatever. And so in this lifetime, you can't seem to hold on to money. So we would basically yeah. want to release you from all that, let's say, guilt and shame and issues of thievery and all this stuff from five lifetimes ago. And then all of a sudden, you know, when you do that, then all of a sudden you can start holding on to money in this lifetime. Or, you know, maybe yeah. people are constantly stealing from you, that kind of thing. And it doesn't even matter if you believe in karma, don't believe in karmic stuff, whatever. But it definitely, it feels like, we're this kind of potpourri or this hodgepodge mess of all these different lifetimes kind of all splattered together into this current being. And so that's pretty wild to me, you know? So I hope that makes and sense. It, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I absolutely, I absolutely know what you're saying. And it, you know, it's, it's funny because when I, when I communicate, when if spirit comes through and if the spirit that I'm communicating with did not believe in what I did when they were physically here, I can, I feel them. They come through with shame. It's like they're shameful to be talking to me because they never believed mm -hmm. in me when they were physically here. And now they're talking to a medium to actually talk to their loved ones, realizing that, you know, they were completely, you know, blind to truly, you know, that l love never dies, that energy. It's, it's the vessel itself. And we are all mm -hmm. vibrations and we're in a sea of vibrations, which is connected to the oneness, which we are one within ourselves. We're one within God or whoever your God is. And we are one within the oneness of all. And mm -hmm. I, I feel that this life, this lifetime right now that, you know, this, we've never been given the opportunity to live in a 3d reality world with 45 D and plus vibrations to be able to tap into usually what's happened in the past. You've actually had to leave the planet in order to feel that pure source energy. And now we're going through it while being alive. And, you know, the way I see it is that we've got all these lifetimes, all these past lives that are connected with our parallel lives or whatever you want to, you know, we've got all going on in the, in the zero point frequency, my friend, but the wisdom and knowledge is also within the soul which could be blocked and not allowing the wisdom and knowledge to come out simply because of what you've experienced in the past. And I, I one mm -hmm. thing I notice when I do past life regressions with people that, you know, if you're dealing with something now, go back to the repeated pattern. It will have started back in childhood. And when you're ready, spirit might take you into a past life to show you where it's really feeding from. But if you're not, you know, if you're not really certain, you're not really sure, it's almost like spirit will not peel the onion too fast because it does, it's not healthy for you to actually experience something that you're not really aligned in with yet. True, true, true. So, yeah, it's a hodgepodge thing. You know, it sounds like a lot of goulash to a lot of people, especially if they're newbies, and we sound like we're talking circular, but this is really how it is. And like you said early on, I loved your analogy about zero-point field. And that's where I believe – you know, I'm moving things through and in and around. And it doesn't matter if your challenge may be, you know, core of this lifetime or this inception up until now or history is all past lives, um, DNA level, maybe your soul level. But there's so many other pieces to that parallel universe, parallel dimension, or other worlds that could be sticking us and hanging us up. So the challenge always is, is figuring out that one little place where it is. And, you know, I would give the analogy to folks too it's kind of like that grass or that weed that stretches across your lawn so you think to go pull up that weed and then you notice it shoots 20 feet across the lawn well if you pull up you know a couple inches of it you still got 20 more feet to go but if you walk down the 20 feet and pull it out by the root that whole 20 feet is gone so that's what you want to do you want to figure out what that is delete it erase it resolve it whatever words you want to use or nothing at all you could even use my liquid fish on that and then everything yeah. has shift and change so and it, again with us being in this new my friends again this is the new year we're starting you know we're going from a water energy to a fire energy and you know when you go from water to fire you make steam so it's almost like spirit is allowing you mm. to see a little bit you know, deeper within the soul, if you're open to it. And, you know, I, I'm just getting that with everything is soul vibration. Like everyone has to understand that this is a vibrational 
holographic world we have created. And something mm-hmm. I've been talking about is, you know, allow yourself to see that everything you've created here, it's, you know, we've got all this 3D stuff, but if you would let go and just close your eyes and see yourself in a sea of frequencies, where are you? And they, they use the analogy of look up at night at the stars where you can see some stars and they're really bright and there's others that are a little dull. And then there's millions that you don't see because you just can't see them because they're too far away or they're not bright enough. You know, again, this is how they say they're showing people that the, the soul you are one within the oneness and how bright are you truly shining right now within your alignment of who you are at a frequency level. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Yeah, it's well said. And definitely. And when you look into that, you realize the vastness of the universe and you know how tiny everything is compared to everywhere else. Yeah. Yes. And I feel that, you know, we're, we're in a, we're in a place where, you know, most spiritual people that are listening to the show today, you know, they're, they're not out there like we used to back in the days where we'd go out and we'd spend a couple hundred dollars in the bar. We'd go out dancing and partying and woohoo. And, you know, we, we were mm-hmm. almost zombie like then. And now, you know, people are shifting to say, you know, I can't be out in front of all those people. It's too much for me. And these are people that are getting in tune with the frequencies where, you know, take that, that abundance that you may have spent to get loaded and have a good time and, and invest it in yourself and mm-hmm. get aligned with, your, with yourself. Because again, it, you know, I have to say, Jimmy, your, 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 your rates are very, very, very reasonable. And, mm-hmm. you know, to me, I've already spoken to quite a few people about you going, well, you should have seen what he was able to do to me. And it, let's just put it this way, Jimmy, you made an, you, you made a very strong impression in my soul. And I already told you when I met you, I know you from a past life. I could, I just looked at you I'm like, I know oh, you yeah. from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, very you know, well to said. be able to take that 15 minutes at $35 that, you, you know, you can't even go to a restaurant and only spend $35. But you know what? You take 15 mm-hmm. minutes and go spend $35 with Jimmy for the 15 minute um, healing. And my friends, I'm telling you, it, it does make a difference. And this is about your self worth. Like we're we're trying to find our self worth now. And you know, are you worthy of aligning your frequencies, knowing that Jimmy has the ability to do this? And Jimmy's just like me. And so anybody's out of reading with me, you know, I don't sugarcoat either. Whatever comes out of my mouth is coming out. I'm not going to sugarcoat it to make you feel better, because it's spirit speaking right. through me. Right. No doubt. So, and that's when, and that, and you know, people understand you. That's our pact with spirit. Really. I, I call it, I'm going to hit them over the head with a Nerf baseball bat. Let's put it that way. So, yeah, you know, it's just yeah. funny. The little, little styrofoam kind of thing that isn't going to hurt you, but it's like, Hey, you want to take somebody by the shoulders and go wake up. Everybody in the universe keeps telling you the same thing. You know, you need to start to pay attention or it's going to be an issue for you, not for us. You know. Absolutely. So, very Especially profound. as we're moving, as we're moving forward with the frequencies, as they, they you know, again, yeah. the frequencies are there. Like, but does everybody have the ability to tap into the frequencies? Absolutely not, because again, yeah. they're 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 controlled by the ego, and if you're controlled by ego, which I call the boys, it makes it sound a little easier. But if you're always in pain, <laughs> worry, doubt, playing squirrel, you're always blaming other people. It's this person, it's that person. It's almost like you're going to hit that awakening where you have that mass awakening where you kind of have to hit rock bottom before you can kind of come out of it. But when you start to see the clarity, it's like you're looking over a fence, my friends. And you might see some clarity right now, but I guarantee you, if you had a reading with, you know, Jimmy, you're going to be able to look over the fence and you're going to say, oh my gosh, I didn't see the dogs in the, in the, back, in the backyard earlier, but now that I'm higher up, I can see them and I don't want to go there. So it's almost like yeah. you allow people see that which they're not able to see until they shift in vibrations which gives them more clarity yeah and kind of that's very well said and you know my joke all along would be hey the dogs were there all along you just couldn't see them so you know it's very interesting (laughs) yeah it's very interesting so and did you have a bunch of little uh, you know lap dogs a little bunch of shih tzus and maltese or did you have doberman pinchers that are there you know dark guard dogs you know, again, you, you create the dogs in the in the field, not us. <laughs> right. Exactly. Well said. Yeah. So, you know, I just I feel it's just important for those that are listening to understand that we are in the new and we've never been here before. So to be able mm-hmm. to navigate through the new, you have to trust your soul, which is your vibrations and your frequencies. 
So I highly recommend that, you know, again, we're here we are, the spring equinox, the energy is shifting, the new year. This is allowing people to really get in tune with their soul and figure out where mm-hmm. is where am I vibrationally matching right now? Where's my journey going on, my vibrational journey? And if you would just stop and just right. think about, you know, what is it that you're vibing on, my friends? And most people vibe mm-hmm. on what they don't want, so they do want, realizing that you know, they that's, that's, open. Yeah, that's well said, too, because I really call out the silent prayer of what you don't want. So if you're running around hand-wringing all the time and worried about, you know, crashing the car, guess what? You know, my friend used to say, uh, never ask them what's the worst that can happen because they will show you. So instead, you want to be in the frequency of what's the best that can happen because, you know, the worst that can happen is not good. You don't want to keep drawing that in and keep having the same experiences over and over again. We all know somebody that's been in five different car wrecks and it's like, how could you get in five different car wrecks, you know, or everything they do, they end up losing. They've lost their business. They've lost their marriage. They've lost a child. They've lost all these things. Well, you better be figuring out and clearing themes of loss, right? Or, you know, the rest of your life, you're just going to experience more and more loss. And so, you know, one of the things I would do is, you know, clear them of things like themes of loss, learned all the lessons they need to from loss, you know, themes of loss still serve them. You want that to be no or a weakness and you want to release those things out. And it's the same with people that use a pendulum. I love when they have that because they'll watch it, the energy jump and they'll measure it. They might get a resounding Yes, themes of loss, and all I'm doing is my liquid fish, the little motion of the fish, and then they watch it just jump to the left and no. And I don't even need to know what their particular pendulum might be. They might be, you know, left and right for no and circular for yes, and, you know, they don't even tell me I don't need to know. But they'll know when spirit moves it and changes it. It's profound. Absolutely. So stay tuned, my friends. We'll be back after the commercial break with the weekly message. And we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Bringing you the best of the conscious minds in the world. Home Times Radio. Your conscious lifestyle on steroids. Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the Internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. Home Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single Home Times endeavor. Host your show with Home Times Radio Network. Dr. Kevin here, and I want to invite you every Thursday, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern, to join me on The Dr. Kevin Show, where we have a diversity of guests who help you step outside the box, behind the curtain, and see what a load of crap is going on in the world today, so you have more information with which to make better decisions. We'll see you there. Namaste. Hello, I'm John Lithgow. Manatees are unique among the most amazing animals on Earth, but they're endangered. We pose the greatest threat to their survival. Many manatees are killed or injured by boats or other recreational activities. I'm a writer of children's books, including one about manatees, and I believe education is the key. You can be part of the solution. Please contact Save the Manatee Club right now. Call 1-800-432-JOIN. Thank you. Today, my special guest, Jimmy Mack, renowned medical intuitive and spiritual life coach, also the creator of My Liquid Fish and Change Made Simple, has been joining me today. And this is the time where I just jump into spirit and spirit wants to give the message for the week. But of course, it's going to have to do what we've been talking about. And spirit is this is the first time spirit has ever done this. So this is kind of trippy that spirit is saying that, you know, it's really important for each and every one of us to work with our spiritual team, whoever your spiritual team is. But Spirit is actually saying that, you know, we have Jimmy and we have Carrie. They both have beautiful tools to be able to help you through their own abilities to help let go of the fear, the lower vibrations that are still connected to you, knowing that there's a lot of people right now that 
haven't been forcing things to happen within their lifetime. And it's because they've been focusing on too much of what they don't want instead of what they do want. And Spirit is saying there's, this is such a magical time now for everyone to be able to connect with higher self, to get into those higher frequencies. And that, you know, we've given you tools today that, you know, Jimmy has um, his healing abilities that he's capable of doing. I have connection with Spirit, and they're kind of saying that, and we can talk about this after the show, Jimmy, but it's almost like they're saying they want us to put something together so that, you know, it's kind of like they go and have a healing with you or healing with me first, and then we flip. And it, it's almost like shaking up the core is what they're saying. Because a lot of people are, they're saying a lot of people are, are putting abundance into the same old, same old things that have not worked in the past, or um, they are really focusing on what they don't want really strongly, they're saying. And it's almost like they want people to understand that because you're not listening to what your gut is telling you. Your gut is telling you this is not working, but because you think that you think that it's going to work, again, you're you're putting yourself into a place that's actually doing more emotional damage than good. And Spirit is saying it's time for everyone to start to, you know, throw out the vibrations of that you truly desire and that knowing that there are people out there that truly want to work with you to help you on a vibrational level to be able to shift to where you need to go, knowing that you are the creator of your own reality. So it's almost like spirit is saying, put your vibrations in what you truly desire. Listen to what your gut is telling you. If your gut is saying to you right here, right now, wow, I need to go have a healing done with Jimmy, then you know what? Go online to jimmymackhealing.com and book a reading. And we're going to give you some information in a moment on how to find him. But this is really weird, Jimmy, because Jimmy, honestly, spirit has never gotten into the abilities of people on the show. It's almost like, you know, they're really talking about how strong your abilities are to be able to help heal those that are in this That's vibrational wild. shift right I now. I love that. I love that. Yeah, <laughs> no doubt. And everybody is looking for that and trying to hit those levels. Yes. And it's almost like they're saying here that we have the ability to say, we're not going to dilly dally anymore. We're getting moving with our own vibrational journey to where we're going, knowing that, you know, both Carrie and Jimmy can help that because that's what you and I are both into the vibrations and the frequencies. That's what we tap into, you know, and sometimes most of my readings, what I do. The other point you make too, which is, which is profound is basically also with people, I mean, this is the spring equinox. It's time to really start and step into the new. And you and I both know, and people will find out over time is, you know, these people that are no longer vibrating with you, not along the same frequency, maybe they do drugs and alcohol, they're abusive, they're whatever, they end up falling out. You know, and I would always say, you know, they need to come to stay or stay away. And these are people that also maybe you have a friend, a spouse, or whoever, and they end up, you know, being just such a sore thumb that you can now see through this new awareness, through the vibrational changes you're experiencing, and even the first day of spring today, that you go, hey, you know what, at all costs, I'd rather be by myself than lay down with this person anymore. This is just too much, you know, on me. It's too much of a drain on me. So more of that awareness is going to come through, especially as we all ascend and make a difference in uh, in our own lives. And that's profound. So that's coming. Yeah. <laughs> well, and exactly. Well, we're also, we got Venus retrograde without getting to astrology, but there's a lot more going on on the energy, my friends. And I feel mm-hmm. that, again, they're trying to let people understand that, you know, you might have really resonated with someone. Um, it doesn't matter at what level. And now you're realizing you're not really resonating with them anymore. And it doesn't mean there's something wrong with them. Don't point the fingers. It's just that, you know what? You're no longer in a vibrational match. That, you know what? Your right. vibrations are pulling you to go here. And, you know, it's like when I tell people, don't throw love daggers at, you know, past lovers or friends or whatever. Send them love and say, you know, I wish them all the best in their vibrational journey, that they're no longer in a vibrational match with myself, but I wish them to be in a place of love in their vibrations of what they are in a vibrational match with. So, you know, it's just letting people, you know, you want to make sure that you don't point fingers or it's not healthy to do that right now, my friends. You know, we're shifting and it's all about the love and, you know, you don't want to be putting people down because in actual fact, you are putting yourself down because whatever you speak is a vibration and is a reflection of who you truly are at the core. Yeah, well said. Yeah. Well, as we come about, you know that more and more we end up uh, hopefully raising the vibration and then have the ability to ascend 
you know, and in this different frequency, you're going to end up also attracting a whole better crowd. I feel like it's kind of like our little tribe, if you will, of people, you yeah. know, and it's just like gradients of different people. Everybody brings something different to the table experience wise, age wise, you know, black, white, purple, it doesn't matter what they are. But like you said, uh, you know, all that comes together and your goal and everybody's goal should be to vastly improve their lives. You know, if it's not working, throwing more time and money and energy at it is not going to change that. You're just going to spend more time and money and energy on something you intuitively may already know that isn't working for you. So you just got to take kind of a hard left and then, you know, to make another turn and do something different. We're always going to have opinion and positionality. Everybody comes from a different place and a different position. But you got to know that you got to embrace change. I mean, there's death taxes and change. So if you don't like change, buckle up. You're going to have change. So you may as well embrace <laughs> it and improve it and really massage it into place so that things actually get better for you instead of going down. Yes, you want to enjoy that that beautiful steel roller coaster instead of being on the the old wooden rackety one. You know. <laughs> All right. It's uh, well said. It, you know, it's it, we're in the new, my friend. So please understand that. Again, and none of us have ever truly been here before. And that's the magic about this, that when you're working and the lights are going on and it's like, oh, my gosh, I'm, I'm tapping into this and I'm tapping into this and I'm tapping into this. When you all come together as that soul family or that soul tribe, you create a beautiful picture together. Because, again, there is no competition when you look at it. At the end of the day, we're all vibrationally in connection. But are you in a vibrational match with those that are in your soul tribe? And I right. know with myself. You know, it's you and I align quick, just like that spirit brought us together. And we, we vibrate in the same way, the way we see reality. So that's why it's very easy mm -hmm. for you and I to have a conversation and really get pulled in because the soul knows one another. It's like, okay, you guys have done this before. Let's, let's, you know, let's work this and see how we can all work together to help more people out there that are waking up. Because, again, how many people are truly in, you know, understand vibrations or frequencies? You know, again, it's a very small amount of people on this planet really understand this, my friends. And I know this for a fact because I was doing a, I said I was going to raise the vibrations of the room in one event. And I was getting emails asking if I was actually going to levitate people because they didn't understand. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we're, we're in the new, my friends. And again, I can't say enough about Jimmy Mack. And I'm so looking forward for you coming back on April 17th. And those that, um, you know, if you want to find Jimmy Mack, you can find him at JimmyMackHealing.com. Jimmy, I know you've got a lot of stuff going on. So why don't you just take a few minutes to allow people to know what you're up to, where to find you, and anything else sure. you want to share with them. Yeah, I would say uh, anybody wants to reach out to me, uh, shoot us an email. It's info, info at JimmyMackHealing.com, and that's J-I-M-M-Y-M-A-C-K-Healing.com. And if you just send us an email, we're going to send you back uh, an ebook and some copies of some radio shows, uh, different things to listen to, videos. There, you know, a lot of these things aren't even on the web. They're just for our uh, little special people, if you will. And so we'll hook you up with those kinds of things and even an ebook uh, about my liquid fish and change made simple. So that's the best way to get a hold of me. Anybody that's interested in appointments, you would just go to jimmymackhealing.com forward slash appointments and you can read all about that. Uh, we've got come out with our seventh book now um, and also a lot of different audios, done a lot of different audio MP3s, everything from sleep to sex to relationships to healing, uh, all sorts of different things, transactional space where people might be in a sales job and want to increase their production and make more money. So a little bit of everything on that as well. And everything's live on the website, books, uh, audio MP3 sessions, whatever it is you need. So I'm thrilled to be on with you today and definitely looking forward to April 17th. We'll take some live callers nonstop and we'll Actually, have people have never, uh, I've never worked on before, and they'll feel the energy and yeah. experience change, and that's very profound. So, thank you so much for having me on. Oh, you're welcome, and I'm really looking forward to that too, because my friends, when Jimmy's doing the healing, spirits telling me I'll be tapping into your loved ones in spirit, who will give you messages after he does the healing on you. So that's going to be pretty. I think that's going to be very cool. Love it. 
<laughs> so are there any last words you'd like to share with those that are listening in, Jimmy, about vibrations and frequencies and, you know, how to keep them Gosh, positive? No. <clears throat> yeah, I would say to everybody, you know, I, I was in my radio show with, uh, you know, may the rest of your life be the best of your life and make progress every day. And I would say that, just make a little progress every day. And before you know it, everything can shift and change. And I always say to people, too, and I say to Spirit every morning when I get up, show me and tell me beyond all knowing it could have only come from you. So I basically dare Spirit to impress me and show me mystical, magical things. And they're always playful like puppies and kittens. And it's really quite entertaining, the things that will show up. Absolutely. you got to love the signs and synchronicities when you're in tune with the frequencies. And a lot of people don't even yeah. see them. So, you know, my friends, do know that they're out there. And a lot of times you'll get a message or you'll get a sign that spirit is supposed to give you, but you don't understand what it means until a couple of days later, which is also very magical. You're like, whoa, because it's more profound. You know, like you, right. you saw it a couple of days earlier. You didn't, you didn't really know what they were talking about. And then all of a sudden they really give the answer and you're like, wow. You know, so then this is the energy that we're in now that we, we have the ability to create magic. But it's almost like we want to keep the vibrations of love so that spirit can create the new because we've never been here before, my friend. So thanks again, Jimmy. I really appreciate you joining this week. And I look forward to seeing you on April 17th. And again, for Thank those you. who want to find Jimmy, it's JimmyMacHealing.com. Um, so have a wonderful week, my friends. Have a wonderful week, Jimmy. And thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks. Have a wonderful week, my friends.